Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of Herping Lebanon Today we're gonna be doing a double trip We're gonna start early morning searching for mountain vipers at uh, 2100 meters It's the best time for them to be tanning on, uh, under the morning sun uh, After that we will move to another area at 1600 meters to look for Elafisaro mates that we didn't find last trip because of the situation in the country so stick around and hopefully we'll find both species today there is a really cold breeze this morning unlike last time we visited the area so it might be a bit cold for the vipers to be out but I'm counting on the sun the direct sun it will heat up the ground and make the viper come out for some bait The ground is full of rodent holes that are used by snakes for hiding, for hibernation and for other stuff and of course the rodents are the main food for the snakes aside of the skinks but I cannot see any skinks yet so I, I am assuming it's too cold for the reptiles to be out we have to wait for another half an hour or so there guys, you can see uh, Finicolacerta colzeri, colzeri desert. It's one of the endangered species, according to IUCN. And guys, finally our search paid off. We found our first mountain viper and just sitting there not realizing we are around. It's a tiny female sunbathing on the bush on the like just under me. Uh, I'll try to take inside the pictures first before uh, letting it go. I think it noticed us now. This is epic. So that's a sign we might find more vipers around here and I will keep searching but first I need to take good pictures of this one. Uh, we finished the mountain viper area now. We'll explore another one for the blotched snake Elephisaur mates we came here before and now we're gonna spend around three hours in this area again. There are dice snakes in the pond. I'll try to find and film again. But my main goal is to find the blotched snake finally and photograph it in the wild. So hopefully this area will be the place I find it today. Uh, just like before guys, we just arrived to the location and we are already seeing our, our first dice snake. Look at this beauty. It's an uh, adult, a medium one. It escaped. The car came by. Again, last time I found three dice snakes under this one. We found no dice snake under this one, <laughs> but it's hotter now, so they might be hiding. And nothing. I don't know if it happens to you too, guys, but in my case, when I go for a specific target. I usually find every other snake except what, really, what I'm really looking for and it's the case with the blotched snake lately <laughs> actually in the past two years or so I try to find it so badly I go to exact habitat in which they were photographed or caught before and still not managing to find any of them no matter how the weather was but we still have a few hours on the field, so maybe our luck changes. And there guys, you can see a crazy number of damselflies mating and laying eggs in the water. They're absolutely everywhere. The sticks uh, are blue in color from the number of damselflies sitting on them. Check this out. 
this is epic the colors are amazing and they have dragonflies circling around also here you can see some underwater they even drown themselves trying to put their eggs as deep as possible underwater see them going over there and there guys we got a pretty female dye snake just some bathing there on the branch above the water it's not aware of our presence because it's looking the other way so we were able to get relatively close to it and took some cool pictures I'll try to I wish you can turn around here so I can photograph the face because now it's not very clear that's epic. I already found like five die snakes so far and more to come. So guys there's another die snake hunting underwater. It's going for the frog. If we catch this moment it will be one of the most shots ever. Check this out. I the frog scared it away. Here the same die snake is looking for frogs around. I really hope we can film her hunting. It's definitely on hunting mode. It was catching tadpoles underwater and now she's watching around. There are lots of frogs so we were hoping to catch as well. And guys, now I thought I saw a snake but they were actually leeches and they are the biggest leeches I've ever seen here in Lebanon. So I'm not sure of the species, they have this orange line on the side and they are really good swimmers, I just dropped one. I will show you how they swim. Check this out. If anyone knows the species, please uh, mention in the comment below. I'm very curious to know what they are and if they would suck human blood. They are everywhere in this pond. You can see them swimming around from time to time, but mostly they are hiding in the algae. And look at these pretty cool leeches. You can easily mistake them for snakes. I'm not sure of the species, but they are good swimmers and they are, they are really big comparing to the leech species I've seen here. Look at that, you can see two near each other. I think they are following each other for mating or eating, I don't know. But that's cool. Anyone can tell me what species are they? And here guys is a beautiful freshly shed snake-eyed lizard Aphisops elegans. Also a common species around here. They live in holes made by rodents or by themselves and their main source of food for small snakes is probably female. Might be gravid as well. And there guys you can see another dye snake sitting underwater and just peeking outside. It's a cool angle, I took some nice shots of this one. Hope it gets closer or climbs higher up. We're trying to stay still, not to f scare it away. So it will climb farther up. 